our dreams, huh? Drank more like, as in the tainted blood, remember? You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Other than dying young and the whole defeat the Blight alone thing, no, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. What do you need? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. I don't know. I have no idea what the Grey Wardens do for them when they fall in battle. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Yes, I imagine you really have, haven't you? Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. I'd like that. So would he, I think. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. I am the person appointed to stop all unauthorized access to the Circle Tower. Meaning you, because you're unauthorized. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha! So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents, too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? And if you can't prove you're who you say you are, I'm not letting you in. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go! Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually, he would. Good point. He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? Come along, I suppose. and I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. 
The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. Who are you? I explicitly told Carol not to bring anyone across the lake. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. The circle is lost. The tower has fallen. We don't know. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations, not the horde that fell upon us. I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground. But I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now. No. And perhaps the Maker smiles on us. We do not mean for the doors to stay closed forever. Everything in the tower must be eliminated. I have sent word to Denerim calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. Only the Grand Cleric in Denerim can authorize the annulment of the Circle, and we must wait for reinforcements. If we enter the tower now, we will be massacred. I cannot order my men to their deaths. While the door holds, we wait. Denra must have received our message. It cannot be much longer. I too would like to know how this started. You must face and slaughter the abominations to get to the bottom of this. Are you sure you can handle them? A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. I am a mage of the Circle. More importantly, why are you here? The Templars would not let just anyone by. 
And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the Circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the Circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I would dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. True, we have little time. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. If you are ready, let us go end this. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard. Please refrain from going into the stock room. It is a mess, and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. The stockroom is my responsibility. I must keep it clean. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. Nial the mage. He came here with several others and took the litany of Adralo. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Niel was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Blood magic could control us, too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Niel. The Litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. Please, please don't kill me. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. 
Aldred told us that the Circa would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. We thought someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. What else can I do? I'm trapped here. The Maker will surely turn his eyes on you, for your mercy. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? All emotion is intangible. You cannot see it, cannot grasp it. But it is normally caused by something real. Real events, real people. What you've done to him is... is abhorrent. I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. A family where the wife and children are in reality the same person, thing. That there, that defines creepy. How long will you keep him in this stupor? Will he know it when his body fails and death claims him? A short, blissful existence is preferable to an interminable one of misery. What happiness! He has gone through life empty, resentful of his vows. You would return him to this? I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us alone. Then you leave me no choice. There are bandits at the door. They're going to murder the children. They will not get past me. Oh, look. Visitors. I'd entertain you, but too much effort involved. But why? Aren't you tired of all the violence in this world? I know I am. Wouldn't you like to just lay down and forget about all this? Leave it all behind. Can't keep eyes open. Someone pinch me. Resist. You must resist. Else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest.